Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and a very happy new year to you, depending on when you see this. I guess happy new year can go for the entire year. I don't know. You should be watching this right around this time. You're in, you're in good hands. But this is going to be my top 10 Marvel Legends figures for 2020, and dag nabbit, there were quite a few, and a few more should have been on this list. Like, let's do top 50. That would have been probably a good number. You don't have to worry about Marvel Legends anymore. They just go like, hey, we're going to make an announcement and there's figures coming and you're like, cool, I guess I'll be showing up when they start hitting shelves. They're all pretty cool. They're all great figures. You really can't complain anymore. The build of figures are good. The Sentinel that we had, that was awesome. The 3.75 inch figures they want to do. The Spider-Man Retro Series. I mean, they had uh, Age of Apocalypse this year. It's crazy. It's crazy what they're offering. There's something for everyone. You don't have to get every single Marvel Legends figure. Like me, I didn't get every single one. So if you don't see your favorite figure on this list, take a deep breath. <laughs> I know you just, oh, I gotta get to the comment section. Just take a deep breath. This is just, this is for fun. I love seeing everybody else's list because then I go, mm, I don't agree with that. Or, yeah, I totally agree with that. It's It's part of the fun. So, I want you guys to sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at my top 10 Hasbro Marvel Legends figures for the entire, the worst year in the history of years, 2020. Let's do this. 30 seconds on the clock for each one. Now, in no particular order, we're going to start it off with Cyborg Spider-Man. Now, this isn't the newest Spider-Man body that we've got, which is a great figure as well. But this is the one that brought all the feels. This reminds me of Toy Biz. I love my Toy Biz. And I love Cyborg Spider-Man. He doesn't have the projectile launchers, which he totally should have. But he's got the headband, the cybernetic eyepiece, the arm, the webbings, the hand. Just, it, it, it's just a fantastic, great-looking Spider-Man. Now, this is from the Amazon box set, also featuring Phantom X and Psylocke. This is a gorgeous looking figure yeah he's just a big burly robot but he's got effect pieces and pink stuff and energy black whatever it's just cool from the x-men the animated series one man's worth days of future past he is fantastic you can swap him out between old nimrod new nimrod they give you choices you gotta grab him now this is a guy from a video game contest of champions like, hey, you know what, let's just make Venom and have it be Deadpool, right? But what a great looking action figure. I mean, they went to town on this. The stitching for the costume, the face, the big purple tongue, you got interswappable hands, you got these big swords. I mean, all that's really missing, you can load him up with guns and what have you, but he's so cool, so unique, so burly, so freaking rad. Just a great Venomized Deadpool. Now, as I've always said, Marvel Legends really thrives because of the character selection. And when they go real, real deep, like 80s deep, and they pull out the white rabbit out of their hats, that is a fantastic character. The look of her, the sculpt, the hair, the boots, the little umbrella blast effect, it's just amazing. And the fact that they go so crazy with the character selection is really what makes Marvel Legends great. Now we're going with some more deluxe figures. Now, we want to say that Rhodey, right? We've been we've been waiting for this figure. They got the flat top Rhodey, and he's also very Spider-Man the animated series, right? When Venom and Carnage, Dormammu, all that a weird storyline. Anyways, the effects are great. He's got missiles and blasts and just the look of this guy, the helmet, everything about this war machine is everything we've wanted, all in one package. They nailed it. Now, originally, I was just going to have just the movie Deadpool. But then Cable and Domino, they are elegant-looking figures. They really bring the movie to life right there in action figure form. So this is a grouping. Minus Negasonic, not too happy with that figure. But all three of these Nail the sculpt, the look. You hear Reynolds, Zazzy Beats, James Brolin. It's it's cool. They have brought the movie figures into your home, and they look great. Now, this big, burly son of a gun, the Sugar Man, Age of Apocalypse figure, is fantastic. He's got this wild, wicked tongue going. It's in the shape of an S. Nice little touch right there. 
big, massive forearm sucker. He's got the sugar hammer. He's like a Ninja Turtle figure, right? Just a big glob, like a brick. But he's just so fantastic. He's a beard and the hair. I'll tell you one thing, I'm not going to let up. You didn't put the sugar tattoo on his arm, but he still made this list. Avast, ye mateys. This is the pirate Captain Deadpool figure. And it's just, it takes me back to when they would make really weird looking, like Legends of Batman. Or just off it, like Arctic Blast Spider. You know, weird stuff. But the fact they did it in Marvel Legends, you have a Captain Deadpool. You have David Nakayama's art brought to life. And you got Jeff the Shark to boot. It's a great figure. Now, the Venom movie, as we can all agree, is not the greatest. But god dang, is it a guilty pleasure of mine. I love that movie for various reasons. Not for the attachment to Spider-Man and all that kind of stuff. Because they did their own thing. But this figure looks great. Yeah, you could say he's got electrical lightning effects on him. It's veins. I get it. But he looks wet and goopy. He's got extra hands. He's got an extra interchangeable head. I love the tongue. Been waiting for this. Just Eminem, play it. Play it right now. And just before we get to the very last one on my list, I ask that you please subscribe to my YouTube channel for 2021. Daily news updates. Retro action figures, especially Spider-Man the Animated Series, more McFarlane toys, everything and anything. I guarantee you'll find something around here that you like. Which then finally brings us to my final top 10 favorite Marvel Legends figure of this year, the Cosmic Ghost Rider, a complete figure. You have the character, the bike, the chain, everything about this. You never need to buy another Cosmic Ghost Rider figure uh, unless you repaint it, which, or, or give us like a baby Thanos. You know what? Duh, just leave it be. It's a fantastic, all in one, complete, deluxe Marvel Legends figure. So that will wrap it up for my top 10 favorite best of Marvel Legends figures for 2020. And I know uh, a lot of you're not gonna, you're not gonna, you're not gonna let me out. You're gonna go, oh, no, 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 you missed this guy or this one, or how come Wolverine and Spider Man didn't make this list? With Marvel Legends, I like to see figures that I've never owned, and a, quite a few on this list are characters I've never had before. So in that sense, I absolutely love what they're doing with Marvel Legends with the line with the Build-A-Figures, with the extras, the fun that the team just has on a daily basis, on social media, how they talk to the fans, how they communicate, they tease stuff. It's a great situation, and as fans, for me, for Marvel, for just loving these characters in general, I really couldn't ask for more. It's a fantastic line to collect, and I absolutely must tell you that if you haven't before, you must start in 2021 and start checking out some of these new upcoming Marvel Legend figures. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Marvel Legends. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, this is my list. What's yours? And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.